There are some questions about that ballot drop box that popped up in Canyon Country. The LA County Registrar says it is not official. But a local pastor posted about it online and encouraged people to drop off their ballots. As KCON's Lori Perez tells us, now the box is gone, but questions remain. The first thing we should show you is the box is no longer where it appeared to be a few days ago in that lighted entrance. It was insane. I just, I, I can't imagine in what world you would think that that would be acceptable. Shannon Katie first spotted the drop box on the pastor of Freedom Way Baptist Church's own Facebook page. You see a gray metal container with a taped sign which says official ballot drop box and the pastor, Jerry Cook, wrote underneath, our church has a voting drop box in front of our complex. If you are voting early, drop your ballot on by. Katie and others alerted the LA County Registrar's Office, which responded on social media saying, this is not an official vote by mail drop box and does not comply with state regulations for drop boxes. The Registrar's Office told me tonight they're trying to reach Pastor Cook and working with council to issue a cease and desist letter. Other posts on the church's website show it hosting a forum for Republican local candidates candidates and criticizing the Black Lives Matter movement. With that in mind, some locals are frankly suspicious of what the church's intentions were with the box. If you believe in your can candidate, there's no reason to try to fudge with the election at all. It's just it's an attack on democracy. It's not okay and it pissed me off. <laughs> I mean, it was up for like four days before I even saw it, before it started to kind of gain traction. Uh, so I'm, I'm really worried that that someone uh, put their ballot in there and that he just you know, saw it was for a certain candidate or saw whatever and just tore it up or throw it away. We've made numerous attempts to reach the pastor on the phone, on social media, via email, to find out whether he knew the drop box was not in compliance and what he's done with any ballots that were dropped off. He has not responded. It's unclear what further action the election officials might take against the church and the pastor beyond telling him to remove the box. Loyola Law Professor Jessica Levinson says whatever happened here, it's bad news. This is far less than ideal in a far less than ideal election where we are desperately trying to tell people that they can trust the election systems, where we're telling people if you don't trust the mail, which you can, then use an official debt ballot drop box. And now we have a church using what looks like a filing cabinet and saying it's an official ballot drop box when it's not. This does not do good things for people's trust in our elections. Remember, if you are using the ballot sent to you and you want to drop it off at a ballot box, you should check the registrar's website to find out where the official ballot boxes are in your area. In Castaic, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News.